Okay, what did I say? 42 on the back. PS, 42 PS or 2.85 or 2.9 when it comes to bar. This will soon tell us what the pressure is. Oh, it's 285 in there already. Don't know if you can see that. I'll just pump half a half a one point of a bar in there. Yeah. And that was it. And the front is 2.5 bar or 36 psi. I did buy the little spring clips for these, but they don't seem to work too well. So, what have we got? Right, on the front it should be 2.5 bar or 36 psi. So, pop that up one. Oh, where are we? 250 is what we want. And that was it. Okay. Right, so obviously we've got the can on. Fairly straightforward. Usual bolt routine. And uh, fitted here. Everything seems tight and snug. And I put this heat shield on it as well from uh, Hessler Rally Team. I don't think it does anything. <laughs> It's meant to protect your boot or clothing getting stuck to the exhaust, so may as well put it on her. Eh? Right, let's see what she sounds like. I think that sounds good. Shit, yeah, lovely. That's got the baffle in as well, so it would be a lot worse if the baffle was out. Or better, depending on what you think of it. As I said before, I'm not going to take the baffle out because uh, that would make this particular can illegal. Yeah, so I don't want to do that. The good thing is when you buy this can, they give you a little um, a little card. I'll show you to prove that it's type approved by the EU. It's got the model number, etc., on the back. So can I get that to a cop or a police control? And that will be enough paperwork to cover that. I didn't want to do one of those scientific compare videos, you know, with the stock can and all the rest of it. I can't be arsed with that. Although with the amount of stuff I've been buying the last couple of months, I could have done a proper video on loads of stuff, you know. But that's not why I'm here. Anyway, I've got uh, an app downloaded here that's meant to do decibels. Uh, so let's see what it says. It's not scientific or all that, but we're just going to... For the sake of having a laugh. I think the mic's at the bottom. If you can see that, it's saying 77. 72, the idle. So, let's see what it does now. Yeah, yeah, 80 maximal, which is interesting because I think I said in a previous video the European uh, limit for decibel is 
what did I say, AG5. It's kind of difficult to find it online, but um, I did find it uh, actually looking at the the EU, the law, the article itself, and it said 77, would you believe it? 77. So, I don't know if that's gospel, but somebody can correct me if it's not, but um, that's what I found, 77. And as you can see there, at idle and at certain revs, well most of the revs, it was um, there or thereabouts. So, I'm not too fussed. It, it doesn't sound excessively loud, put it that way. It doesn't sound too bad. I just think it looks a lot better than the stock one for a start. Black, bit of carbon, the springs, all adds to that aggressive kind of rugged look that I was after. I just sort of stopped there to check the bolts and to do this little video. So we'll crack on with it and see what else we can uh, talk about and find out. You know, I think I've finally stopped buying stuff for it now. I think that is it. That exhaust was a hard one to swallow. I thought about it for two or three weeks and I thought, that's a lot of money, man. And I went, yeah, and I'll forget about it. And then uh, the little voice just kept coming back into my head saying, do it, man. Get it. Fuck it, man. Get it. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. One night, I just pressed the add to shopping cart. <laughs> 